Some simple fixes that seem like good DIY ideas at the time but can turn out to be costly and expensive mistakes. Number one, pressure washing siding and shingles. It may be tempting to pick up the pressure washer when it's time to clean your house's exterior. However, using the machine improperly can cause significant damage to your siding and roof and shingles. If your pressure is set too high or if you are washing too frequently, I have seen damage. I've seen dented siding, shingles blown off. Simply using a garden hose with a siding wash is enough. Number two, treating complete drain clogs with chemical cleaners. There are many chemical drain cleaners out there that are formulated to clear stubborn clogs. These chemical clear clogs work by eating through hair, fat, and other substances to stop up the drain. In most cases, drain cleaners can be used to clear partial clogs without causing significant plumbing damage. However, when a drain is completely clogged, the chemical drain cleaner doesn't have anywhere to go. These powerful chemical components can also corrode your pipes. A better option is to invest in a drain snake to physically remove blockages. Number three, installing structures on a septic field. Septic fields are outdoor underground spaces required for septic systems, wastewater drainage and treatment. Above these areas may look tempting for a great spot in your yard to build a shed or other structures. However, this will cause significant septic system problems. Number four, installing new flooring over old flooring. Tearing up and removing old flooring is a task few owners enjoy, but simply covering up the old flooring with new is a risky endeavor in some cases. Old flooring may have existing damages like chips, cracks, rot. These small pockets may allow mold and mildew to grow and spread even underneath the new flooring. Damaged flooring may also cause the new surfaces to wear prematurely and can sink into existing indents. Also, I've seen new flooring heights be raised too high and can cause problems such as transitions and door heights. Number five, applying wood filler to floor gaps. A quick fix for gaps in wooden construction materials is to add wood filler matching the color of the finish. However, using this trick on finished floorboards is a bad idea because even the best wood fillers will crack and crumble over time. This is due to the way wood floors flex and bend each time they are stepped on. Unless you are using a flexible wood joint compound that relains its elasticity, filling floor cracks, cracks with a wood filler can end up making floorboards look even worse than before. Number six, concealing your AC unit. Homeowners don't always have a choice when it comes to their AC outdoor location, and sometimes these cause unsightly units to be in public view. In an attempt to improve the curb appeal, homeowners might plant trees, shrubs, or bushes around the AC to conceal it. This attempt to camouflage can actually cause the AC to become blocked and present proper ventilation causing you extra electrical cost to operate and possibly a damaged system. Instead, leave ample space around your AC units to avoid ventilation problems. Number seven, fixing furnace AC leaks with duct tape. Duct tape was given its name because it was once the best option to fix HVAC systems. These days, we are still use duct tape. However, the proper foil back tape is manufactured specifically for this purpose. The aluminum foil tape with the self stick backer creates an airtight waterproof seal and is labeled for this use. Duct tape on heating systems will always dry out. Keep the cheap gray duct tape for other household projects. Number eight, hiding electrical junction boxes. Some homeowners want to hide those electrical unsightly junction boxes. However, hiding a junction box behind drywall or cabinets is against the National Electrical Code. Since junction boxes contain the home's electrical components and connections, it has to be accessible for future work or failure. Save yourself and future electricians some time by not concealing junction boxes. Number nine, using latex paint to cover oil paint. Painting is one of the most common DIY projects, and it's a task that most homeowners are comfortable and capable of doing alone. If you have ever painted a wall and had to seal the paint, see the paint chipping, peeling, 
falling off just a few weeks or months later, you may have used the wrong paint. If you use latex paint to cover older oil paint, the latex won't bond well to the oil paint underneath. Even though it will initially cover, you may have chipping and peeling and a mess on your hands. Consult a professional to see what the preparation required is before painting.